Hi, Jesse. Happy Consumer Electronic Week. I, I wish we we're in Vegas right now at your booth, but it's all right. We're at home, uh, staying safe. So uh, I'm excited to learn about your new robotics kit you got your uh, premiering. But uh, first, tell us about PyTop and uh, the business. Yeah, sure. So uh, uh, yeah, PyTop, we've been around for uh, six years. We uh, use the, you know, we, we, we've always used the Raspberry Pi, but we, um, we make, uh, the Raspberry Pi is simple, modular, uh, easy to use and apply it towards education. So, uh, you know, uh, one of the things when I was a long time ago, when I was in school, you know, you do computer science and you'd be like, well, you know, why am I actually learning this? Or, what can I actually do with this? And, and it's answering that question. Like, what can I build with this? How, do, how can I actually apply code to, you know, this thing that I want to make? Um, and that is, uh, you know, uh, being simple about it. That's, that's what we do. We make uh, learning computer science fun and, uh, and interesting with um, cool stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the latest one you got. And it's cool because you can hook that up to kind of like a Lego type kit and then like teach, I guess, everyone how to uh program it you know yeah so we've got um we've got a few a few accessories the you know it starts it all starts with this uh, with this little 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 guy right here um so this is the pi top four it's a mini programmable computer it's got a raspberry pi inside there but it's also got a battery it's got an oled screen programmable buttons internal cooling um and uh and then you can use this you know, as a desktop, uh, uh, you can plug it into your TV and turn that into a computer or, um, or you can plug it into a monitor and, and use it like a regular desktop. We've got an accessory, uh, a, a screen that you can just uh, pop it into the, into the back of and then there you go, you've got yourself a laptop. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, but what we're uh, really excited about and what we've been working on for a long time is the robotics kit. And uh, you know, here's one I've made. Uh, I've made earlier, proper, you know, Blue Peter style. Uh, I uh, so this is a. It's just an example of uh, of the of a of a robot that you can build. Works just like the other accessories with Pi Top, and mm -hmm. that you uh, just pop your uh, pop your your Pi Top four in there, and then that powers your robotics project. But um, with this, you get a you know, a, a metal building structure. So you can uh, get closer to the camera. You can see all these are held in with rivets. So you can build, uh, you know, really anything you like. Uh, and some people build some, some uh, amazing stuff. Oh. Uh, this one, I've got two, uh, two uh, encoder motors with Hall effect sensors in them. Uh, and then you've got our expansion plate on top. And this thing right here uh, comes with uh, some really, some really, really good stuff. It, uh, it takes out some, you know, it, it adds some ports to the Raspberry Pi. So you've got all of our four uh, pin uh, ports that let you, you know, add cool little like ultrasonic sensors or lights or buzzers or buttons. Uh, but you've also got the ports to control the encoder motors and then uh, little um, servo motors and with these, you can pop our little camera on there and you can have this robot rolling around, uh, you know, sending streaming video back to you. And, uh, and you can use things like machine vision to, you know, identify objects in the room or, or that kind of thing. Uh, but the special thing about this little plate is it's got an IMU in there uh, with a gyroscope, a magnetometer and accelerometer, which gives you nine degrees of freedom of control. And so, you know, you can imagine using this with a camera and the whole effect sensors in the, in the motors, you know, this robot is, can be uh, a really smart robot, i.e. it you know, knows where it is, can let you know where it is. It's not just a sort of uh, dumb robot that's uh, going, you know, forward, left, right. Um, it, it knows where it's, it's at. So that's the robotics kit. Yeah, that is so and cool. Not, I love technology. Uh, is it is it pretty easy for anyone to kind of pick? Like like my daughter's really obsessed with animatronics at like Disney World, and I, I explain you know, hey, it's they're all robotics and stuff. So I feel like it should be something that would be fun to build together. Or I mean, but I don't know too much about computer science. Is there like is, is it easy to like just pick up? Do you have like instructions? Yeah. Or? 
so that's you know that's the that that is ultimately what we do right it's mm -hmm. you want to you want to learn about robotics you've heard about computer vision uh you might you know you know have an idea of what you know ai is but how do you get started with all that kind of stuff and you know that's that's what we're here to do so alongside the kits, really the backbone of what we do is this piece of software called Further, uh, PyTop Further. And on there, um, if you've ever wanted to know how an ultrasonic sensor works, there's a lesson plan for that. Uh, you've got sample code for that. It, you know, you have images uh, on how to connect everything up and um, and how you might use one of these. It's the same for LEDs, buttons, um, uh, uh, accelerometers motors so really anything that comes in these kits you know we've we we kind of hold your hand when you start uh what do they call it you know low floors and then really wide walls and that you can take these bits and pieces and apply them to you know what we uh, uh suggest you do but also really what we want you to do is build your own thing and apply it to a problem that you want to solve in your own house or your own community uh, and then super you know high ceilings in that um you genuinely at a university level you know we have uh students that create really complicated things um one of my favorite recent things was at the microsoft.net conference we uh worked with some engineers at microsoft and we used the uh pytop 4 and our robotics kit we had it plugged into microsoft teams you could send code to the robot through uh, Teams, and it would send back uh, streaming video, and uh, and it would roll around the room identifying Pokemon cards. In the room. <laughs> oh, that's so cool! <laughs> so, yeah, very very in 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 style for for right now. Uh, yeah. But um, but yeah, you know, it's a fun it's a fun thing uh, that uh, that 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 you know, can bring on a beginner into something that can be very complex. But at the same time, when you gain that knowledge uh, and you're doing that more complex stuff, it's there with you too. And, uh, and you can do that as well. Got it. Um, you mentioned the, you know, people made some crazy unique stuff. Is there like a community page or social media where you like share other people's what they built? Cause like, you know, I, I really love Star Wars. And I love watching people what they custom make with the droids and the lightsabers that they sell as Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It's fun watching. Yeah. That. Yeah. So um, uh, if you go to our website, just pytop.com, P I hyphen T O P.com, uh, we've got a forum, a uh, customer forum on there, and people will uh, uh, post some of, the, some of the stuff that they do. Um, I mean, my favorite, though, maybe I'm biased. Uh, one of our engineers will, uh, you know, with the, with the, with the Raspberry Pi, they've got Retro Pi. Obviously, uh, you know, I have one of my Pi tops with Retro Pi on it, because <laughs> why not? Uh, and uh, and he made a portable uh, gaming console, kind of looked like the Switch. You know, it had a Raspberry Pi screen on there, had a Pi Top Four on the back, uh, and he used this uh, metal build structure to create a sort of switch style grip for it um, and then our pie top button components and some d you know d pads uh, but when uh, you know when you wanted to show off you could unfold it and it turned into a space invader <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool but, you know it, it wasn't just uh, you know it wasn't just engineeringly impressive it was it was artistically impressive as well and you can you can hop on youtube just Type in you know Pi Top uh, or you know, Pi Top Four into YouTube and uh, go to our YouTube channel. You'll uh, you'll see a video with it in there. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I definitely cool. gotta check that out. Wow. So uh, how much how much does it go for? I guess there's different varieties of different kits that come along with yeah. it. Yeah. So the Pi Top Four starts for ninety nine dollars. There's a do it yourself version where you're actually gonna build this. You're gonna learn about what's inside here because uh, that's how we started. Was you know uh, you know build a computer and learn about it. Um, the robotics kit uh, is $199, and for that you get a uh, you get uh, all the motors, servo motors, camera, uh, ultrasonic sensor, um, line following tape, colored ping pong balls, so that you can do you know specific uh, projects where you're you know dipping your toe into computer vision and uh, and robotic uh, controls. So um, so yeah. Uh, uh, a really great and you know i think good value start into into robotics i love it all right so and then take the website one more time we can order this at 
Yeah, this is pytop.com, pi-top.com, or you can uh, just hop onto Google and type in pytop. We've got a, a whole bunch of distributors that um, that sell pytop stuff, and uh, and you know, it, it, you you'll you might get it faster, or it's uh, easier to buy it, uh, uh, you know, from a from from one of our retail partners in your in your country. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time to talk to me, and uh, I'm going to look forward to that YouTube video for the Space Invader one. Right yeah, away. definitely check it out. It's uh, it's my favorite, and uh, and uh, yeah, we'll have uh, we'll have we'll have a lot more uh, a lot more cool stuff uh, uh, coming out. But as you can imagine, each one of those videos takes a little while to make. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Thank you so much. We'll keep in touch. All right. Great. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Have a great rest of the day. You too, man. Take care.